Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Max and today I want to show you what I did to my bike. Here's my Honda Grom 2022 and like many when I bought it I decided to customize it all the way. And the first thing that I did of course was the exhaust. I got my from Thailand Zoom, Zoom Brute. It costed me around I think 250 pounds uh uk pounds to get the to get the exhaust and then i paid a bit a little bit like 50 pounds for the for the import tux something like that the sound of the exhaust is absolutely awesome the stock one is is too quiet it sounds like a small bike and this exhaust it made it just right Another thing that all the people change when they just get the bike are the handlebars. I decided to go for something else, not that um, most of the people get, and I bought uh, handlebars from Renthal. This very nice, good looking, cool orange, oh no, gold. The color really matches the color of the suspension, so I quite like it. The next thing was the, the wing mirrors, handlebar mirrors, the stock ones, they suck, you don't see anything. Basically, you see your shoulders and you, you don't see what's behind. So I found these ones on eBay. I think they were about, I don't know, 30, 20, 30 pounds, something like that. They have this blue tint. When uh, there's the car behind you, you don't see its lights so bright well they do the job and they look okay so i think i'll keep them the next thing which i changed is again what most people what most people do and i think i kind of followed everyone's journey on the modification of this bike so the next thing which i changed was the extension i added four inch stretch to the rear of my bike i actually think it made a difference i think it, uh, the, the bike got a little bit more stable at higher speeds because initially if you ride it around 50 miles an hour, I don't think it was that comfortable with the stretch. I think it feels a little bit better. Obviously the problem now is the dirt that's coming from the rear wheel. I thought about 3D printing uh, mudguard, but it's let's say still in progress the next improvement that i did was the tail tidy the original fender it's too big it looks ugly i don't know i just wanted to get rid of it as quick as possible so i ordered a tail tidy from ebay it was about i don't know 25 30 pounds and uh, when it came i realized that they they also sell you a little light that eliminates the rear uh, number plate and this light was was not good was too small um, and uh, another problem was the angle at which the number plate was uh, was fixed it was uh, it was not not right so the number plate was actually touching uh, the wheel the rubber and uh, the tire it was touching the tire and it wasn't good uh, so I wanted to use the original uh, light and uh, also obviously wanted to fix the problem with the angle so i spoke with the guys on ebay the ones who sent me and uh, they were very nice to fix the problem for me and i sent them my measurements i sent them my version of the design and they were able to uh, quickly manufacture a new one and uh, in the end i'm pretty happy with how it how it looks another big i would say huge update upgrade that i wanted to do with my bike right from the first day i purchased it were the wheels i really like how the bike looks with the bigger wheels especially the fattier wheels in the back so i spent a lot of time searching for the new wheels i kind of gave up and then i saw in uh, one of the forums back from 2014 and 2015 they mentioned some website or it's not even a website it's like a page on facebook where uh, they sell 13 inch wheels from thailand and i decided to check it out so i wrote the guy he said yeah i can uh, i can ship you the wheels to the uk um, it was quite a journey i would say it took me 
about uh, three months to get the wheels. It was, uh, it took him a lot of time to produce the wheels and then the shipment. So I probably ordered the wheels in the middle of October and I got my wheels in, uh, in the end of December or even beginning of January more or less. So yeah, it was, um, it was a long wait, but it totally worth it. I got the 13 inch uh, wheels in, in matte black and I fitted uh, new tires. It's 120 by 70 in the front and 140 by 70 in the rear. Another upgrade which is currently in progress is this mod guard. I decided to 3D print my own design. If you, if you can see, this is somehow still in progress, but I really like how it looks. On the rear, I have to mess with the mudguard as well because obviously with a bigger wheel, uh, it doesn't fit properly. So I had to 3D print small extension mounts. Now it looks okay. And obviously when I had my wheels changed with the bigger ones, the bike wasn't accelerating as quick as it was. So I had to compensate for it. And I went for the smallest sprocket in the front. I think I now on 14. I think the original is 15. So I went one tooth down. And then on the rear, I went to 42. I wanted about 40 or 41, but the guys uh, didn't have it in stock and they suggested uh, that I try the, the 42. And I think actually it's it's good. I didn't try my, um, my top speed yet. So this will be in one of the next videos. But so far uh, the bike rides really good. It pulls really quickly. I ride uh, around the block for like a few hours now with this new gear set and I really like how the guy how the how the bike rides it was a bit tricky to put the front wheel on actually because I was doing it myself in my uh, underground car park I have a stand for the rear wheel but I don't have a stand for the front one and uh, it's tricky to put the jack underneath the bike so I end up uh, putting the bike on the rear stand and uh, I used the car jack so it was really a balancing act at, at some point I thought I would drop the bike but as you can see I succeeded I also wanted to improve the performance of my bike but unfortunately in the UK we are much more limited than you guys in America so basically what you do is you change the exhaust your, the air intake and then you flash the ECU so the problem is there's no ECU flash. There's no firmware for, for the UK bikes. And uh, the ECUs are different, so you can't just swap the ECU. Another thing which is very important not to forget when you change the gear set or when you change the wheels, your speedometer will be completely off. Even the brand new bike, the speedometer is off by about three, four, five miles, which is quite annoying. But when you change the gear set, it's completely wrong. So what I had to do was uh, I had to feed the speedo, speed healer, speedo healer, something like that. Uh, it's a very small device that you get uh, in between your wheel speed sensor and your computer. And it actually works pretty well. So it was a straightforward installation. And now my speedometer is spot on. I really like my little bike. I did about just over a thousand miles on it and it goes very good. I just love it.